prefer instrument, the three continuous sensors we used were the X, Y and Z from the accelerometers. The discrete ones were the two buttons. As you can see here, we took the code we learnt in the labs to set these up to max. As you can see here, we created a menu system using the bangs which we are receiving from the information sent in to the Arduino. We receive the first bang from the first button that sets off this counter, which then sets off this if statement which sends a bang to this sub patch with the genie. This opens the gate and allows the bangs from the second button to pass through. As these bangs are sent through, they output messages to the zoom controlling the genie, but also the R bias of the genie, changing his color and bringing him closer to the P window. This is a form of one to many mapping. As we send the second bang from the first button into this menu, it opens up the gate to the second sub patch. This sub patch controls the R, G and B scale bias of the circle visual. This is another example of one to many mapping as we are sending both one and zero values to each of the R, G and B. Send the third bang in from our instrument. It now opens the third gate which controls the border of our circle visual. This is an example of one-to-one -one mapping. However, as we have opened up the gates in the, in the two previous, the bangs from the second button now control three things. The border control, the RGB scale bias, and sounds played through C sound. This is a form of one-to-many mapping. We now move on to the mapping strategies used in the jitter part of our performance. As you can see here, the X and Y axis are both mapped to the anchor points of our circle of visual. As the X axis and Y axis are both mapped separately to the anchor X and anchor Y points, this is a, an example of one-to-one -one mapping. The Z axis is then mapped to the zoom of this visual and is another example of one-to-many mapping. This input is receiving messages from the border control sub patch which controls the boundary mode of the circle visual. In this sub patch we can see how the R, G and B scale of the circle visual is mapped to the buttons as they receive their 0 or 1 messages. We can see here in this sub patch which is related to the lips visual how we incorporated many to one mapping. In the first part, which controls the R scale, we can see the X and Y axis both being called in and added together. This value is then scaled down between 0 and 127 for the slider and then 1 and 0 for the, the R scale message. We can see we move on to the G scale, how the X, Y and Z axis were all added together and the average of these resulted in the change in the G scale value and how again all X, Y and Z values are called in. All of these three values divided by 2 as we add the x and y together and take away the second and this final value gives us our b scale value we can see from this sub patch which is related to the genie the object which receives the messages sent from the buttons to control the r scale value of it this is an example of one-to-one -one mapping. We can see from this sub patch, which is related to the zoom and rotation aspects of the genie, the one-to-many mapping used as we're receiving values from the G-zoom, which are coming in from the buttons. The mapping we used for C sound is mainly one-to-one -one mapping. For our main instrument, we use the accelerometer to map FM synthesis. The x-axis is used to map the carrier. The y-axis is used to map the modulation. The z-axis is used to map the panning of the instrument, which are all read into C sound through e-messages. The G button, used to control the genie visuals, receives bangs from button two, so that when pushed, C sound receives a message which plays a mystical sound. This goes through a gate and then is received into CSAM through e-messages also. This is an example of one-to-one -one mapping as well. The x-axis here controls the game. 
and the V button, which controls the lips, is done much the same as the Genie button, where it receives messages from button 2, so when pushed, it plays a science fiction type sound.